Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, keyboard, bottom frame, and fan. Removal. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and open the notebook so that you have access to the cables in the keyboard bay on the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and close the notebook. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board and remove it from the routing channel on the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the NFC board ZIF connector and disconnect the NFC board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the two 3mm Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the right edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and slide the external connectors out from the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install onto the new system board. Memory boards. Heatsink. Real-time clock, RTC, battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important. After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.